Hey everyone, and welcome to the Defining Your Life podcast, where we focus on living in our purpose, practicing presence, and activating our power in each moment. I'm Marcherelle, your resident pep talk provider, and I invite you to join me as we continue to learn, lift each other up, and strive to level up together. Because we are never finished defining our lives, and it takes a village, so let's build one. Stay tuned for the episode. Hey everyone, I hope that all is well and happy summer. (laughs) I don't know about you, but summer brings me so much joy. There's always something to do. uh, And if it's not 97 degrees outside, it's really just pleasant to be outdoors, right? You know, whether that's dinner al fresco or a nice early or evening stroll, um, outdoor markets, you name it. I love it all, unless, of course, there are mosquitoes present. But, you know, now that my kids are older, I feel like I have a greater opportunity to enjoy more of the summer offerings. Not to mention my birthday is in summer. Um, Next week, as a matter of fact, which is absolutely crazy the way this year is flying by. Uh, But I really do just enjoy the energy of summer and being out and about even if it's doing something simple. But summer just reminds me that it's okay to enjoy. It's okay to be a little more carefree. It's okay to take a break. And that's what I intend to do. You know, my message for you is short and sweet this week. Take a break, okay? What do you need a break from? For some reason, No matter how many times I tell myself to relax, relate, release, (laughs) I never find myself doing it for very long at all. Not long enough, right? So I have to keep telling myself that breaks are okay. And no, it's not a break if you stop doing one time sucking stressful thing and replace it with something else that's giving you that same time sucking, stressful feeling that you had before, you know, in that instance, all you're doing is shifting your energy and not making space for the rest and recovery that you need. I often find myself squeezing in more of the things I like or enjoy when I really want to feel like I'm doing something for me. But in reality, sometimes I need to remove something in order to get the feeling that I'm really looking for. Because at the end of the day, I really just want to breather sometimes an opportunity to take a load off. And you can overload on the good stuff just as easily as you can the things that you feel like are weighing you down, right? And sucking your energy. So I really just hopped on here to encourage y'all to take a break. And I very much love the pod, but I am taking a brief break to relax, relate, and release from as much as I can for just a moment. You know, heavy emphasis on brief, y'all, so it, it, it's fine. Um, no cause for alarm. And I can't currently stop the show on everything in my life. You know, bills are due, but I can clear space so that I can clear my mind and make room for fresh ideas and new energy. Sometimes you just need a minute to reset, to be reinvigorated. And I plan to return a more invigorated version of me after I take a very brief pause. But before I go, let me ask you, what can you temporarily remove from your life from your day to day in order to make space for a brief pause. I hope that, you know, I'm demonstrating that it's beneficial to take a break from something, even if you love doing it and love putting the time into it, you know, but it's like when you ask someone else to proofread something that you've written. You could have looked at that thing a thousand times and then you pass it to a friend and they pick up two or three more mistakes, (laughs) You know, that's the power of fresh eyes. They can see what you cannot. And so what do you want to take a moment away from so that you can come back to it with fresh eyes? I know I'm excited to return to you all with fresh eyes and fresh ideas and Lord willing, a more rested version of myself so that I can give you the very best of me. But I don't want you to feel as if you can't reach out. You know, I certainly would love to hear what you're pausing on um, at this time. And I'm still around and happy to engage with you. So the lines of communication are still open. Feel free to use them. 
but it feels like summer, (laughs) y'all. So I want you to take advantage, explore, try something new and seize the moment. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. But allow me to share a quote from Anne Lamott. Almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. Thanks so much for listening today. I hope that you have been and will continue to enjoy the pod as I strive to create new content for you. And remember, this is a village. So feel free to share your thoughts and ideas with me. I very much value your feedback and I hope you find a way to unplug a few things, even if it's just for a few minutes so that you can see what a reset will do for you. I can't wait to chat with you all again very soon. Take care until then.